Hi there and welcome. Crispy fish sandwich is what we are going to make today and we're going to do it all in the air fryer. The air fryer that I will be using is the Kasori 5.8 quart. This fish is going to be so crispy, flaky, and pure deliciousness. I kid you not. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off by making a simple tartar sauce. It's really easy to do. I suggest to make this two to three hours ahead of time so you can chill it in the refrigerator. I have one cup of mayonnaise. To that, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of minced onion and a tablespoon also of chopped pickles. I'm using dill pickle relish. You could use sweet pickles if you would rather. And one tablespoon of the dill pickle juice or sweet pickle juice if you are using that instead. And that's it. I'm going to mix this up, pop it in the fridge, and we'll get started on our fish. I have two nice pieces of cod. I rinsed them under cold water and taken some paper towels and getting all that excess moisture out. What I have going here, I have about a half a cup of all-purpose flour, one beaten egg, and about a cup and a half of panko breadcrumbs, which I am going to season up. Start off with some sea salt, some black pepper, and of course you can season this up however you like. Going to go in with some garlic powder. A little bit of onion powder. And some smoked paprika. Now I'm going to mix this together well. If you want, you can go ahead and season your flour and your beaten egg also. I'm just going to leave it as is. Grab one of our cod pieces. I'm going to go into the flour lightly. We don't need to go overboard. Shake off any excess into the egg. Drip off the excess. Now into the panko breadcrumbs. Get that coated all well. I like to pat the breading into the fish. Helps it to stick on there better. Get the end pieces as well. All right, that looks good. I will finish up this other piece and then we'll pop these into the air fryer. Have my air fryer basket here, which I am gonna spray with some avocado oil. You can use any kind of oil that you prefer. I'm doing this to prevent that fish from sticking to the air fryer basket. Place our cod into the basket. And we are ready to pop this into the air fryer. I have been getting a lot of questions about this little slide out drawer that I have. I got this from QVC. I believe they discontinued it and got a newer version. They do have this version on Amazon. I will leave a link down in the description for you if you are interested. It does have a little storage drawer where I keep my parchment paper push this lever to slide it in and out. When you release, it locks into place. I love it. All right, back on to our fish. I have the air fryer set to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm just going to go with the default 15 minutes. About eight minutes in or so, I'm going to peek at these and see if they are ready to be turned over. Hold the presses. We're one minute in. I totally forgot to spray the tops of our cod with some avocado oil. All right, now we are good to go. We are seven minutes in, and these are ready to be flipped. Again, I'm just going to spray a little bit of this avocado on top and pop it back in. 
I am back. It took the full 15 minutes for the cod to finish cooking. By the way, you want an internal temperature at least 145 degrees for fish to be safe to eat. What I'm doing here, I have a couple hamburger buns that I'm going to toast up in the air fryer. I am lightly buttering these. I'm going to pop them in the air fryer at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for two minutes. Since this air fryer is already nice and hot, two minutes ought to do the trick. I will be using shredded iceberg lettuce and the tartar sauce we made earlier for our fish sandwiches. I think I'm going to skip the cheese today. So I will finish these up and we'll put this fish sandwich together. Now let's try this out. Lord have mercy, that is good. That simple tartar sauce is delicious, so much better than store-bought. The fish is crispy, flaky, so good. I do hope you give this a try. It was so good. If you are not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. That way you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. And as always, I want to thank you so much for watching and hope to see you next time.